This week, we're building our hydraulic handbrake. Okay, so, here's my idea for hydro. I didn't want to buy some cheap, crappy hydro on eBay for 30 whatever dollars, so I decided to buy a clutch master cylinder. This is a 5 8 bore clutch master cylinder with a built-in reservoir. Um, so that we can do a uh, independent hydraulic system instead of an inline system because most of them have a line in and then a line out that's your pressure um, and then I'm gonna build a, so, uh, us an enclosure here I've squared up some old pieces of aluminum and this is basically what I've got Whoops. right now we're gonna drill and tap some holes and bolt this all together I'm going to drill a hole pattern in this so this can bolt to this back plate here. And then we're going to have some pivot points and then I'm going to have a big long arm that comes off maybe about, I don't know, 18 inches away from the, the, the fulcrum point. Uh, and that should give us a sufficient amount of leverage. Uh, I was doing a little bit of research online and I guess the, the, the best uh, ratio for throw uh, for a hydraulic handbrake system is about 7 to 1. So. If I get seven times the amount of length that I have down here in between our pivot point and where it actually attaches to the clutch master cylinder, uh, we should have enough clamping force on our brake pads, on our independent uh, calipers to get us some locking for hella skids, man. So it's gonna be fun. This is gonna be our back, back piece here. So let's set it up. Look at that. Beautiful. So we just gotta thread those holes. Dude, cool. Bottom. Yeah. One ream through here. The end of that. And then I have to make like a little clevis block. Dilio. And then this shoulder bolt's gonna go through here. Yeah.
beautiful. Nice and tight. That's tight. Freaking tight, man. It's gonna be the nicest handbrake ever. Need to drill a hole. It's all good. I'm not offended. <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. All right, so all the machining is done on our hydraulic handbrake lever. Uh, finished assembling it and greasing it all up. It's ready to go. All we have to do now is get ourselves some uh, some brake line and some fittings that we can attach to this. And we got to plumb it all in and then bleed it, and we should be ready.
Next week, we get the Subaru ready for its first shakedown at the track. <laughs>